Hello and welcome to this very anticipated agua de horchata de fresa. So I already went ahead and did the most um, tedious part of this. So I added my um, content of one cup of rice and um, I soaked it in one cup of water and I went ahead and I broke off one cinnamon stick and I let it soak overnight and the way that you can tell that your rice is ready it could be minimum of four hours but you want it to just when you pinch it your rice just breaks off and that's how you know that it's ready to go very very effortless for the rice to break off and so I went ahead and I am getting this recipe recipe sorry for simply mama cooks and let's just go ahead and add everything that we have wow se me está chorreando mexican moms all over the world are like ay esa niña let's just go ahead and do that and let it seep all the way through with your wire mesh strainer. And the reason why I didn't use a tela like she did in her video was because I don't mind little bits. And really, if you have a really good strainer, I'm not saying that I do because really I don't, um, it shouldn't pass all the chunks. And really, in all honesty, the only time that I'm going to steer away from this recipe as I'm thinking of adding all these little bits back into it. That way you use less sugar and it has more of that cinnamon flavor which I love. All right this is I mean I guess this is why she used for her strainer her cloth strainer which I have and I epically failed at it. But anywho, that's all the liquid we're going to get out of this. And you could just escurrir, exprimir it like this. And then you're going to get like this little like fibers to it. Add it to the side. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to puree your strawberries. And so I've already washed, cut one pound of strawberries. Hello from Dora, my niece Miranda's bowl that we've had since like 2005. And to your strawberries, one pound of it, you're going to blend it with two cups of cold water. And also with that, you're going to blend it with vanilla extract and it says here two teaspoons half a teaspoon one teaspoon another half two and that's just for flavor let's go ahead and let's puree this baby and also you're going to puree it for one minute Because the last time I thought I did it for a minute, I had it. So in the meantime, you're going to grab another strainer and you're going to add your evaporated milk, a whole can of it. I mean, it seems like forever when you're trying to wait. It's like when you're trying to uh, wait for your tortilla to warm up. And so, 
your strawberry puree should look like this. Like a strawberry, like smoothie, like very, very, very like liquid. So to the strawberry, you're going to add, uh, you're going to mix that and then you're going to mix the condensed milk. Actually, I should have done that while we were waiting. I honestly don't think that it's going to fit in the frasco that my mom has. Honestly, we're going to add half. Oy. We're going to add half of it. It's a little less than half. Because honestly, aguas aren't supposed to be like super, super sugary. Tienen que saber buenas, pero not all azucariadas. And then to that, then you're going to add the strawberry puree. Ojalá me caiga. I mean, no. My mom did me dirty. It's not going to fit in the frasco. So we're going to have to get that second jug that she had told me. Ah! Wherever it is. Mom be hiding everything. <sighs> so I have a second frasco. And because I was so worried about this one, I messed up. And forgot the fact that I was supposed to run it through this baby. So let me go ahead and let me just rinse out this frasco. So, moral of the story is, <laughs> I guess make sure that you have something that's, I guess, big enough to be able to sustain your... amount so we're gonna let that because you still have to keep in mind that you're going to add um, ice so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pass it back and forth I'm gonna get a huge bowl because we have one of those big tin bowls and I'm gonna pour it all together and then just kind of mix it in and then see what happens. And then I'm gonna get my nephew to taste test his. <laughs> hopefully he wants to, and hopefully it comes out good. I wanna know what kind of frasco that lady had because she had all these like big old frascos and everything fit in there. So I'm wondering where I messed up because I did exactly one cup I mean, one pound of strawberries, two cups of cold water to blend all this content in. You know, honestly, I don't know if I did it right, but I guess I shouldn't say that I follow her recipe down to the T then. And we're just going to stir this, stir it, stir it, stir it. And I'm going to get one of my big bowls and then I'm just going to put it in. And then I'll add the other contents or whatever, all the other liquid from the other one. Oy. And then I'll just mix it all together. And then one frasco will be for my cuñada's house and one frasco will be for our house. That seems like a good idea. And I'm going to walk it over right now while this uploads. <laughs> So let's mix, 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 mix. And in the meantime, while we're mixing this, Samuel, what? come taste this. See what you think. I'm going to add my garnish. I kept some of the strawberries. Good thing I cut a lot. And I'm going to add it to the frascos. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some ice. And walk it over or 
I'm still filming, boo. So let's see. And you tell me if it needs to be more sweet or what. <laughs> Legit. Where, where's my ladle when I need it, huh? I made too much of it. Or maybe I messed up on the recipe. I don't want to be the person to try it then. You better. Gotta help me out. Look, I even... <laughs> my spoon fell. <laughs> yeah, but... What does it need? Be honest! And does it need to be sweeter? A little bit. Well, because I didn't add all the, all the, all the this. You should add some more. All the condensed milk? No, the lady added all of it. Well, let's go for it. But as far as, like, texture, like, does it need to be wet? Wet, what? It's a little thick. All right. It's a little thick. So... We done messed up. This is why I don't follow recipes. <laughs> so if it's a little thick, I'm going to run it through the blender again. Lord, bear with me because this spoon cannot. Well, we can just post our wins. We got to post our failures also. And so I guess for this one, Becky Uncut version, it is an epic failure. Don't do what I did. This is me posting not to do what I did. Thanks very much.